Creeps, it's Cameron Cheney, author of Autumn Crow, and welcome back to Library Macabre. Today, I have for you, finally, the cover reveal of my book, Autumn Crow High, right after this. So, I know this has been a long time coming. A lot of you have been asking me for the past year and a half, when am I gonna put out a new book? When's it gonna be available? Well, it's here. It's finally here. I've had the cover done for a while and I've just been sitting on it because I wanted to release it closer to, of course, the book release date. So I don't have an official release date set. I don't know if you guys know anything about indie publishing, but when you're self-publishing through Amazon, it's you don't have a specific release date. You don't really know when you hit publish exactly what day it is going to drop. So it's a little uneven. <laughs> you don't really, you don't really know exactly what to expect. There could be hiccups. They could come back and say, oh, by the way, uh, we can't publish your book yet because you need to fix this issue. And it's just, it's all a big thing. <laughs> it's very stressful. It's a little messy, but I'm aiming for a late September, early October release date. In fact, I really wanted it to be like mid-September. Now it's starting to seem a little bit more like early October because the book actually isn't finished yet. I'm still writing it. I'm still in the middle of uh, writing and editing, so it's going to be a while. <laughs> I, I'm thinking it's probably going to be early October. I wanted, it, I wanted it to be sooner, and I'm going to still aim for it to be even sooner than that, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> anyway, this book is called Fresh Hell, and it is the first book in the Autumn Crow High series that is kind of like a throwback to the 90s young adult horror books that I used to read when I was a kid. So Fear Street, Christopher Pike, uh, Point Horror, all of those golden age horror books from the, the young adult horror boom of the 90s. As many of you know, I have already released a book called Autumn Crow. This is a short story collection aimed a little bit more at adults and it takes place in the town of Autumn Crow. Autumn Crow High is a spinoff of that. It takes place in the 90s, and you do see a lot of references to this book in the Autumn Crow High series. So without further ado, here is the official cover for Autumn Crow High, book number one, Fresh Hell. That is the official cover art for Fresh Hell, done by the amazingly talented Cameron Rubik, who is one of my best friends and somebody who I am personally a huge fan of. I love Cameron Rubik's books, the Kill River series, fantastic disco death trap, blew my mind, and his artwork is just stunning. So whenever I can have his artwork on a book that I have published or a book that I am featured in, it's a big deal. So Cameron, great job. You're awesome, man. Thank you so much for another amazing cover. I actually have the uh, the actual canvas right here, which is just amazing. I, I love it. It's beautiful and it goes so well with the cover art for the first Autumn Crow. It is just amazing. I also wanted to share with you guys the back cover, which I just finished recently. So there is the back cover. There is the synopsis for the book. School is back in session at Autumn Crow High. Will the class of 1994 survive long enough to graduate, or will the cursed town of Autumn Crow devour them all? Bailey Hagen is plagued by nightmares, blood-soaked visions of a boy seemingly from another time. He's so handsome, so dark, so deadly. When Bailey returns to school in the fall, she is horrified to learn that the boy from her dreams is real and has enrolled at Autumn Crow High. Are Bailey's dreams a warning, some kind of premonition? Or has the boy truly escaped her nightmares? Only time and murder will tell. I am so excited to be sharing all of this with you guys because I've been sitting on it for the longest time. So it's great to kind of get it off my chest to show you guys the cover art, to, sh to show you what the book is actually about. Anyway, there it is. That's the news. That's the cover. I really hope that you guys like the cover as much as I do. I love how it turned out. I think it looks pretty badass and I can't wait to get the book into your hands. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for supporting me. 
in this journey because it is a journey. It really is. It's a lot of work. And the fact that I have you guys, you know, waiting and eager to read my work is fantastic. So thank you so much. And I hope that you guys have a great week. Thanks again. And I'll catch you in the next video. Later creeps.